some word problems. Yeah. One TV costs 1,600. Wow, that's an expensive TV. And a different one costs $300 more. A school buys both. So what is the total cost? A school buys two TVs here, so we need to add. What is the total cost? Okay, the one TV costs 1,600. How much does the second TV cost? It doesn't say. It says that it costs 300 more than that. So we add a 300 and 1,600. So that's 1,900. This is the cost of the second TV, right? And now we add these. Can we do that mentally? Okay, you could think of 1,000 and 1,000 to 1,000. 600 and 900 would be 1,500, right? So we would get $3,500. And the other way, like I pointed out, you could think of 16 plus 19 equals 35. Alright, here we go flying. No, not you, Matthew. Ellen goes flying. Ellen flew 3,800 kilometers. And then she took a bus for 50 kilometers to go see her grandma. And then she traveled back home the same way. What is the total distance she traveled? Okay. She flew, she took a bus. Then she saw her grandma. And then she took a bus and flew, right? So we need to add those numbers. 3,800 plus 50 plus 50 plus 3,800. Now 50 plus 50 is pretty easy, right? Otherwise we get, we have the 3,800 and then 50 plus 50, so that's 100. And then the 3,800 back. All of these are kilometers. Okay, can we do this mentally? We have basically 38 and 38 and then 1. 38 and 38, you would get 60 and 16. That's 76 and 1. 77. So 7,700 kilometers. 7,700 kilometers. So that's a bunch of traveling. Lastly, we have a word problem about Matthew. Aren't you happy? Yeah. Here's a track in the woods, this here, okay? 3,200 feet this way, and then 2,800 feet this way, and then 3,500 feet back here. And Matthew likes jogging. But what's the question? Can you make up a question? Oh, Matthew has a question. What's the total distance? Yeah, of course. We can make a question. What's the total distance Matthew jogs if he goes once around the track? But can you make something more interesting? Something else? Some other kind of word problem? How about the shortcut? Aha, yeah, let's make a shortcut. Maybe you're tired, Matthew. Are you tired? You don't want to jog all the way? Let's make a shortcut from here to here. What if Matthew takes this shortcut? Then what distance does he jog? Let's say this is exactly halfway here, you know, on this side. And this is exactly in the halfway point here. So 3,200. But if he just goes half of that, how long is this part here? Think of 32. What's half of 32? 16. So here's 1,600 feet. And... This one here, this would be half of that, 1,400 feet. But Matthew, we have a problem. We don't know this distance. What do we do now? Okay, we can estimate, okay? If this is 1,600, this is a little bit more. Let's just say this 1,700. Now you can solve it, right? Add all those numbers. I'm going to save some space and just write here 16 plus 17 plus 14 plus 35. And then we're going to add those zeros. 16 and 14. Add those first. What's that? That's 30. Yeah. And then 30 and 35. 
65. And then 17. 65 plus 17. 75. 82. This would be 82. And then the total distance, 8200 feet. Okay, so that ended up being a bit complicated maybe, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Well done with this lesson.